Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, Overwatch. The video game is pretty popular and lots of people like it. And one of my favorite characters is Tracer. So we're gonna print Tracer's gun and then we're gonna test it out. Are you excited? I sure am. Let's do it. Are you ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. So, uh, I I didn't have my GoPro plugged in. Some of the footage didn't work, but whatever. Look, look. There's no beating around the bush. This is Tracer's gun. Holy crap! Uh, Simon or Simone? Simon? Simon from uh, my mini factory. He uh, he made this model, and then he put it out on Thingiverse as well. It's a good model. This one. All right, so this, the black pieces were printed on my old TeamMaker 2 Plus in Matter Hackers Pro PLA. The gray pieces were printed on my Dremel 3D Idea Builder using Matter Hackers Pro PLA. This white piece is actually a weird no-name PET filament that I found laying around my office. And this, these parts, the golden parts are actually ColorFab bronze fill. <laughs> So, and, and these were printed, um, these were printed on the Dremel Idea Builder as well. And it's, it's cool. So many printers and so many filaments came together to make this gun a reality. And holy crap, look at it. Oh, but, you know, okay, so it's a little bit of a pinky out gun because my hand doesn't really fit. But it's still, this is Tracer's gun. And I know that she, in the video game, she has that ability to kind of teleport, right? Let's go see if it works. Maybe it's the gun. I know she's got that thing. Maybe it's the gun. Maybe it's the gun. Let's go see if this gun allows me to teleport. Let's, let's go, let's go. All right, I'm outside. Look, I've got Tracer's gun here and I've got some safety goggles because you can't be too safe. So let's see if this works on its own. Okay, ready, ready. Ha, uh-huh. Ha! Ah. Okay, so the gun doesn't work on its own. I need the, the things, and this gun is too small. Anyway, so okay, we need to make a bigger gun, and I need the, the things to help me uh, run fast. Okay. All right, all right, so we're in the shop. And of course, this gun right here, the 100% scale tracer gun from Overwatch did not work. Shoot! I mean, it still looks good, but look at pinky out. <laughs> it's a pinky out gun. So what we need to do is put together a gun that's slightly bigger than this. And thankfully, I did print something slightly bigger. Let's get started. Look, here's, here's the top section. Here's the bottom section. Look at that. No pinky. I don't need to put a pinky out. That holds pretty well, just like that. Here's the two domes. I have pieces off to the side, can you tell? Here's the part that holds the domes. Here's the front part. And the other front part, that'll go just like so. Just like that. This is the top part, this is the sight. This goes where the knuckles are. This is the back piece. Turned out good. Here are the little nernies, right? Bill, am I saying that right? These are little, uh, add the things that are little widget little things. These are five, you can't even see them. Look at there are five little blocks to help line everything up. This is the site. That is the site right there. All right. Well, let's put it together. Boy, I'm putting, I, haven't, I haven't really put together a, a video game gun in a, in a long while. It's been, shoot, it's been quite some time. Uh, this, this gun from Overwatch is actually pretty dang cool. Let's see, the last game gun I did that I put together, I think may have been the, was it the, it wasn't the Hawkmoon, right? Because I did that a long time ago. It was the, was it the Thorn? Maybe Hellboy's gun. Maybe Hellboy's gun was the first one. I don't even remember. Okay, good. 
That looks good. That's going to cure just nicely. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Oh, let's start prepping this. This piece is going to go right here like this. And it looks like it sets in there pretty dang good. I'll put some glue in. Glue at the top. Glue at the back. Glue at the sides. Okay. That looks like it's in. And now we take, I can put this down. And now this piece, this is actually two pieces here, but this just glues into the bottom like so. What I might do is pre-glue that. Crazy like that, aren't I? It's gonna impact it like that. Throw that right there, right there. Right here. And right there. I probably use more glue than needed, but I don't care at this point because I just want it to stay together really darn well. Now I can put some right here. Looks good and true. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. I'll put it like this. This piece is gonna go right here. And there's a little notch cut out. I don't know if you can see that, but that notch goes towards the back. I don't think I need to glue that in. I think what I need to do is just put these pieces in and then glue those together. I think I think I can do that. So this will require two of these little blocky things. There we go. There's one. And uh, get in there. There we go. Yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. A little bit of glue. There we go. That's glued together and it's not going anywhere, I don't think. Right? I don't think so. Okay, that's pretty good. I didn't clean these up off the build plate so it still has some edges that I can sand down. But that's fine because we can sand models. We know how. And that'll fit on just like so. Boy, that's a, that's a decent fit. A little bit of glue goes right up here. I'll hold that in place. That should seal up just fine. That's curing. Let's see, I think that's tacking good. That's not moving. All right, we can put these pieces on. This one should be easy. Get in there. There we go. That'll fit on like so. Probably should have pre-checked it, huh? <laughs> Oops. This is why I usually leave it up to the professionals. No, is that not touching down? 
Uh-oh. Maybe a little bit more. We'll do that. Wiggle it around a little bit. Now we're gonna put this piece on. Boy, that's a long piece. getting there. It's looking pretty good. That guy's not even tacky yet, but it'll get there. Let's put a little bit more glue in there. these pieces to see how well they fit. Oh, they fit really well. They might not even need some glue. It's not too bad. I can put these in before everything else dries. And before we put this top on top, these just go in like so. And I think what I do is I put the little, oh, you know, maybe I could pre-do that. So I think what I do is I put this piece in the middle and I weld them together. There we go. And I got glue on my fingers. Go figure. That goes in there. Actually sits pretty well. Glue it in place. This is going to go in here. Just have to get that space where it goes, just like that. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be perfect right there. I'll add some glue. Let's get that in. Come here, you. Now we just gotta wait for everything to dry. Oops. <laughs> Stuff doesn't wanna hold.
back. Well, that was fun. Oh, and it fits. Ooh, one last piece. That's going to go right there. Okay. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty good compared to that. So it's much bigger. The glue still has to dry, but I can, I can definitely hold it with my hand without having a pinky out. Now, once the glue dries, we'll just, oops, <laughs> the glue's got to dry. Once the glue dries, we'll take it outside and we'll test it. Okay, okay, the, the glue is dry and I, I did the stuff. So I know Tracer has this thing in the front from the slipstream and the thing in the back. And look, I've got a gun that actually fits my hand. No pinky out, because it's got room. This should work, right? I should be able to, to zoom in and out of places, right? Okay, let's see. Ready, ready, ready? <laughs> okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, one more. One more time. I've always wanted to do this. Ready? Ready? Near. Far. Oh, it worked. It worked. The gun worked. My slipstream worked. Oh, yeah. Happy days. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take this off before I disappear into infinity. And then... And then uh, we'll go wrap it up. We'll go wrap it up. Okay. 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 <laughs> I did it. I teleported. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, here. Look at it up close. Look how ginormous this thing is. And I can just hold it. So, okay. This works. The bigger gun along with my custom made uh, slipstream stuff, the tape, the tape around my sides, and then the safety goggles for safety. That seems to work. So that's how you can teleport. You just need to print out Simon's model here and do it at 125% because apparently that's, that's what works. Ah, but here, look at it. It really came out gorgeous. This is, this is probably one of the better models I've printed. The color fab bronze fell on this one. I was talking with Barnacles and he agrees we could shine this up real nice and we could polish it up. Uh, there's the gray piece up top. Looks good. Oh man, this is, I know I could sand it. I could do some Bill Duran punish props work and I could sand it down, but I think it just, just looks, looks cool. Well, Tracer's got two of these in the video game. So maybe I should print a second one. I don't know. Regardless, hey, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I really, really like this model. This is a good model. The link to the model is down in the description. Please print it yourself. Again, I did it at 100% scale and then it didn't fit my hand. So I printed it at 125% scale and that fits my hand really well. Here, for scale, there, there's my hand. There, just hold your hand up to the screen and scale it against mine. Oh man, okay, like this video if you like Overwatch, if you like Tracer, if stuff is cool, if bacon is tasty, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about anything that I said in this video, don't forget, I am on Patreon and you can throw a dollar my way if you want to financially support the channel. I never require it and I will only ever ask for a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, High five. He's Joel Telly and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly because he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review 
prayers Till he falls to the floor Then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04 There's the Wombat, Volsbot, G-Max XT Then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy Printed koozie in his hand for his drink He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang So send him a dollar to put in his head Or a self-addressed envelope for a sticker instead There's a nerd loss on boxings and cues and things And he'll open your mail every single Friday And of course you can't forget that pancake bot And filaments on a cleaves and shows you a little tot And they printed this printer at Holiday Studio Like Lando Calrissian and Freeze Dried Han Solo So show your support on Patreon or subscribe And as always High five.